So my name is Raymond Rawls. And I'm Lorraine Durden. We're here to talk to you about the bicycle power kinetic sculptures that we've been making for the last couple of years. Uh, this is one we made for the UF Homecoming Parade last year. Uh, we usually do uh, museum exhibits, and we have a local business in town, but we started uh, we have a lot of extra bicycles around, <laughs> and we tried to use um, salvage materials. You know, for a lot of reasons. One, that it's um, you know cost effective, but two, it's just a great way to use some material that we have around, including bike parts, salvage lumber, cardboard, and paper mache seems to be the go-to material because that's abundant and very cheap or free. Uh, so we kind of started um, the project, or we started making kinetic bike-powered. Um, sculptures for the FSU Film School working on a project for them. They wanted us to make um, several uh, different wolves and I thought it would be kind of fun from salvage material, I thought it would be fun to use a bike as a beginning. It kind of looks like a dog when you kind of have just the under framework and to the framework we started adding uh, material, salvage lumber to kind of make a framework and I wanted to use the wheels as uh, motion and attachment point for the legs. So as it spins it uh, moves the legs and you can see this sort of like dog-like shape coming through. And they wanted us to make three different ones of different material um, so that they would have three characters in the movie. So we went to the local recycling center and found various materials. We had a cloth wolf, a metal wolf, and a plastic wolf. And all of them were also puppets. They each had different parts that would move in addition to the legs that would move around. And, you know, this was a, when you go to make things out of salvage material, you have to also be very open to what you find. Um, Sometimes, you know, you just gather materials and then, like we gathered all this screen, they had piles of screen, and it turns out that screen is actually really fun to work with. <laughs> and so there's all these happy surprises that you have to let happen when you're working with um, reclaimed materials. So we did this and we got these three wolves made and we really liked them, and we decided we would really like to make one that you could actually ride. And so we started thinking, and we thought about this for a little while, and then one day I went to the UF Homecoming Parade and realized there was a bicycle section. And it looked like a good opportunity to have a showcase for a uh, kinetic sculpture. So we decided we would make one that was rideable. And Raymond made this framework. So this is two bikes that are uh, framed together. Uh, there again, the bikes are donated, the scrap lumber from the shop. I have a studio uh, in town and um, you know, scrap lumber, cheap lumber start to make a basic framework that you can get inside of and we started to notice that it kind of looked like a fish. Um, we, were, we didn't really have a plan to start off with but we took cardboard, uh, added you know details, added structure and then over top of the cardboard we just used paper that's glued down and that paper creates a nice finished surface and a great surface to paint on. Uh, so we kind of like let it go in the direction that it took us and we sent it you know into the parade and for its maiden journey. I called it the fish out of water I call it the killer koi, but uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it was a lot of fun, and we were in the parade with a group, uh, the Beautiful People Bicycle Club, and all these other bicyclists, and nobody knew what we were bringing. We just, were, we just showed up with this giant fish, and we were really glad people contacted us the next year. Yeah, so uh, the next, you know, this last year we decided we're going to have to do a gator. It's the U.S. UF Homecoming uh, Parade, so just going to have to go for you know get, doing a gator. And I, I wanted, to, I was pretty ambitious. I thought I'd have a door and portholes that you can get inside, but I knew that the the mouth had to chomp, and I knew that the legs had to move. I was going to use the same approach as the wolves, attach them to the wheels. But as I started to build the framework, I ended up realizing that it was easier to attach them to the pedals. So as you pedal, they will rotate, they will move in a kind of natural way and tried to get the proportions as closely as I could. Um, so it's all salvaged lumber, and fittingly, there's an old sign from UF that's orange and blue. So it kind of worked with, you know, to, the, to our advantage. Um, and we had volunteers come in to help us get some of the basic cardboard you know, roughed out, you know, some shapes to work with. Um, at this stage, you can have a lot of hands on it because you know, you're, you're just trying to cover square footage. Um, but we have all this mechanical moving parts that we have to you know, accommodate. So as we build, there's always troubleshooting and there's always things that you have to kind of maintain to make sure it works right. Um, and, and later in the process, we usually end up just kind of, the two of us get in there and work on some of the details just to kind of give it a consistency, kind of focus in on what we want to uh, show and have a little more control over it. And at this point, it's, it's all cardboard and, and masking tape. Um, it's starting to take shape. 
shape, um, and we at this point are going to start doing the paper paper layer, which uh, we bring more volunteers back and have them help us just cover the entire surface with several layers of old newsprint that we got from the Gainesville Sun. It's their run, the cut off the end of the reel from the Gainesville Sun. So at this point, we have this sort of monochromatic white gator that is ready for paint and um, and ready for the parade. So that's right before it got painted, and. Uh, we also, along with the uh, bikes, we made and other people made helmets uh, that had various uh, animals and things. Like that. That's the chicken helmet. And uh, we had a lot of that going on. We just wanted to fill the parade with detail. We wanted to kind of give it this sort of lively atmosphere and, and give something for people to do to contribute to it. So the fish is in the front here, the gators in the back, and we had a, a really great group. We had unicyclists, we had the UF uh, bike team, we had tons of people on their own bikes, we had carts of all kinds. I mean, we really had a good good time doing it, and the idea is to contribute each year, make a new float, and kind of cre create the anticipated section of the parade, which would be the bike section of the parade. And other, other cities have kinetic bicycle uh, parades just in and of themselves, but we already have this parade existing, so we thought it would be a really great opportunity to kind of just, you know, have this make it a more fun event in a, less less gas to less yeah. exhaust to breathe as you're sitting there watching the parade. But we also want to make some um, bicycle sculptures that can be used other places. This one we got uh, invited to do the, at the Museum of National History for Transformations. But we want to work on making some of these kinetic powered, uh, bicycle powered sculptures that can be used for other events. Can just be ridden around town and. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm working on this. This will be a horseshoe crab eventually. And I'm trying to spend a little more time on it. You know, the, the fish and the and that gator were fun because we did them really fast. And I think uh, this one I'm giving a little more time and just try to see how far I can push the, uh, you know, and have fun with it. You know, it's kind of the point of it is to have this, um, you know, entertaining pro project. Thank you.